Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about the conversation. So I put up a post right here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you click on the community tab, you will see the post. But I put up a post talking about the conversation. And I want to I want to talk about it in this video and make sure everyone understand the conversation um, and what all it entails. OK, so first thing is first. This is a God-ordained love story. So, you know, God is looking for his people to surrender, okay, to him. He's looking for us to walk by faith and not by sight. And he also wants you to trust him, okay? Now, the conversation is at an appointed time. God already know when is the right time for you and your current or future spouse to have this conversation, okay? That's why it's at, a, at the appointed time. The appointed time is when both spouses are ready to talk about everything and move forward. I'm going to say that again. The appointed time is for both spouses who are ready to talk about everything and move forward. OK, so if your spouse has reached out to you or you contacted your spouse and you tried to have this talk only to be met with the person's silence or they're ignoring you or avoiding you or, or you know, things of that nature, then that's an indicator that the person is not ready to have this conversation. OK, uh, and I will say this. Sometimes God would he would prompt the God ordained believing spouse to reach out to the um the future spouse um and it could be a test it really can't meaning god could be testing the heart to see um he know everything but he's showing the person you know the condition of their heart right but so he he can prompt the god ordained believing spouse to reach out to the future spouse uh just to see if they have a willing heart right and both spouses not even knowing that that was a test from the lord okay so i just wanted to say that but um yeah the conversation it is at an appointed time all right um now here's the thing okay i want to talk about this because god he's not going to just throw you into having this conversation okay he know what you went through in your god ordained love story okay he know you still have questions you need answers to he know you're still hurting he know you might even have some fears about being around your person, right? So God, he's not going to just tell you today, okay, hurry up and get ready to um, talk to your spouse because you're about to meet them, you know, next week. No, okay? God, he's a God of order. He's very strategic. And there's a way how he's going about his God-ordained love story, okay? So God, the spirit of truth, um, it said the spirit of truth will come, right? And it's going to reveal all truth, right? So everything that was done in the God ordained love story, you know, um, behind your back, whatever was said that you don't know anything about, God is going to reveal it because he's the spirit of truth, okay? He's revealing these things to you, not to hurt you, but he's revealing these things because he needs to give you time to, you know, accept what he is revealing to you, and then also heal from, because it, it probably was some hurtful things. So he's giving you time to accept what he's revealing to you, make sense of it, process it, and eventually move over into healing from it. Because he want the believing spouse, when it's time to have this conversation, when it's really time for reconciliation, he want us to respond like the prodigal father with open arms okay he doesn't want all this back and forth he don't want the bickering he don't want arguing he don't want name calling lashing out you still angry he don't want any of that okay he want love and respect he want the believer spouse he he want to show himself through the believing spouse to this person okay so god will begin to get you ready to have this conversation and god may start getting you ready like two years before the conversation is you know is head so just keep that in mind, okay? Now, whatever God could do, let's talk about what goes into the conversation. Well, what do we talk about? Well, you're going to talk about whatever God revealed to you, right? Um, and so whatever God reveals to you, 
let's say you let's say you are married. Let me let me speak to the standards right quick. So for my standards, those who are currently married, but you're standing for marriage restoration, God can reveal to you this is why your prodigal husband or wife, you know, has left. This is why they committed adultery. God can be revealing to you, you know, your spouse lying to you, right? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay. When God revealed these things to you, that is for you to sit back, accept the truth that God is revealing to you, and then begin to ask yourself some questions like, okay, so what are the new boundaries that I need to integrate into our marriage? Okay, because when we talk about God restoring a marriage, it, he's going to restore it, but he doesn't want this marriage coming back operating and looking like the previous marriage. No. Mm -mm. We need it. We need a new mindset. We need new behaviors. We need new character. Okay. We need, um, you know, healing taking place, growth and development, you know, communication, you know, you don't got to be the best at communication, but a willing heart that's willing to communicate. Right. So if there, if when God revealed to you what well, this is, you know, what happened in your marriage, um, and, and, and once you take a look at it, if it was a, if it happened as a result of, there was no accountability, there was, you know, lack of boundaries in play. It wasn't clear communication. Now that is letting you know, okay, we need to talk about these things before, you know, we come back together again. We need to be on one accord. Okay. Cause I'm talking to standards and this is kind of the same thing with the God ordained spouse, but we need to be on one accord. We got to make sure that we, we both, you know, um, know what each other expectations, you know, are concerning marriage, right? You know, so whatever God is revealing to you, you want to write these things down and then begin to, uh, ask yourself, okay, but what is the new thing? Okay. How can I integrate the new thing, you know, that God just revealed to me into our marriage going forward? Okay. And God can also reveal things about you. Okay. Now this for both, this for both standards and God ordained spouse, God can reveal things about you. And he can say to you, well, it was because of your attitude, you know, um, this is why this person is showing up this way. Or he can say it was because of a certain action. You know, whatever the case may be, God can highlight something. He can highlight, you know, um, maybe you lost yourself in the marriage or or maybe you put the person on a pedestal, right? God would bring it to your attention. This is where you went wrong at. And as a result, it opened a door to this, okay? And so that's telling you, number one, how to properly prepare, okay? If I put the person on a the pedestal, then that's telling me, take them off, okay? Um, if I, if it was a, if, if it was a breach of communication, that's telling me, okay, I need to, you know, make sure I am articulating myself, you know, the right way so that we don't have any more of these issues going forward. Right. So it's highlighting to you your own preparation work, but also it's highlighting, you know, the new thing that you can bring, you know, into this relationship or the marriage, you know, going forward. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get across here. So I don't want you all to overthink this. I don't want you to be like, uh, could I see some, some people was in the comment, like God helped me to prepare and help, you know, teach me how to talk. And when we talk about that, God teaches you how to talk. That means you got to get his word in your mouth. When you are reading the word of God, you know, it's God who put his words in, his, in your mouth and then he tells you exactly what to say, okay? But try not to overthink this, okay? It's really a matter of using this time of divine separation to uh, accept whatever God is revealing to you, even if it hurt. Even if it hurt, even if you can't believe the person would do such a thing, you know, God is telling you and he's revealing it to you because he needs, he, he got to bring it out in the open. He don't want anything taking you by surprise. Okay. Um, but he wants you to accept what he is uh, revealing to you, you know, try to, you know, bring some healing to it. Okay. Forgive the person. All right. Um, if you need help with healing and forgiveness, I recommend, number one, you start speaking in tongues every day, okay? Because tongues, when you start speaking in tongues, it brings forth healing, you know, to, to come within yourself. And it also, you know, 
unlock more revelations to you. It might give you a different perspective, right? Um, and then you can also, again, um, I, I got to say this because people say, oh, yeah, I'm healing from it. I'm dealing with it. But they're not doing anything. They're not really getting down to the root of the problem. They're not bringing healing to the situation. They're just burying it, you know, and just going day by day, not really facing what happened. In order to heal from whatever God reveals to you, you got to face it. You got to deal with it. You go, you gonna cry. You are gonna get upset. You are gonna go through those, you know, up and down. Okay. You are gonna speak against it, and then you are gonna come back into agreement with it, right? You know, you are gonna go through all of that, right? Um, and then uh, eventually, you should arrive to. I'm ready to forgive. I'm ready to let this go. Why? Because I understand this happened in the past. I understand that was the old version of that person. Who God is is connecting me with? It's a better version of the, the one in the past, okay? So when we understand that God's not connecting you or joining you together with a person who's going to come back to hurt you or harm you, you know, that should help you to, you know, roll over into forgiveness, okay? Now, for those of you who are afraid, you're afraid. You might be saying to yourself, well, how would I know it's even safe to be around a person? You know, to have this conversation, God will guide you into it. He will give you a peace on the inside of you. But he will also, see, God doesn't keep us in the dark. He really, he really doesn't. He, he's not going to keep you in the dark. He's going to let you know. He, as he's bringing up the past and telling you what happened, telling you the things that were said about you behind your back, God also is going to be talking to you about the future. He's also going to be prepping your heart and telling you how to get, get prepared and ready for that conversation, okay? He's not going to keep you in the dark. He's not going to allow you to just walk into this, you know, and get harmed. No, that's not the God we serve, okay? Um, this is a faith walk. It's going to require for you to trust God, meaning so when God tell you, I'm going to change this person's heart towards you, or um, this person, you know, has been delivered from whatever spirit. When God tell you that, you got to trust that God is telling you the truth, okay? And also, let me just say this, because sometimes when God tell us things, you know, we think it's, we think it's happening right then and there in the moment. It can be, but it can also, God can tell you something today and it's probably not going to manifest until six months, you know, down the line. So you also got to discern when is God referring to this taking place in this individual. But again, even if you try, even if you think, okay, maybe I think I'm hearing God say it's time for us to have this, have this conversation. And if it's not, God will send, he will send his messenger. He will send word to you. He will give you a dream, letting you know it's not time, okay? That's how much God loves you. That's how much he loves you. He won't allow you to, um, he won't, you know, keep you blind. He won't just allow you to make a mistake and just, um, you know, like walk into this, not knowing the person, you know, um, can hurt you because it goes against his word in Jeremiah 29 11. He said, I got plans to prosper you, not to harm you. So that scripture is letting us know it is God's responsibility to keep me out of harm's way. And then it's my responsibility to stay in the, uh, to stay in God's boundary of protection. Right? So when God tell me, you know, it's not time, then I got to stay in his protection. Right. But if I take myself out of his protection and reach out or be around this person when God is telling me it's not time. Now I'm putting myself in harm's way. You see the difference? So God, you know, he got a responsibility to protect his children. We have a responsibility to hear from God, listen to obey God and obey his um, like stay in his protection. OK, so that he can protect us according to his word. All right. So um, that is it. You know, um, you know, this conversation, God want you to approach it in a space where you're ready. OK, um, you're healed. You may not be healed from everything, but you have an understanding of the situation. You know, um, you ready to just move forward. Um, and, you know, that's really what it boils down to. You ready to move forward. 
Um, and you're not afraid to approach this situation, you know, uh, with this person, you know, and the last thing, you know, God is looking for love and respect. Okay. He's looking for both spouses when he brings the two of you together to operate in love and respect. This is your biblical role as husband and wife. Okay. It's a husband, love your wives. Live with your wives in an understanding way. It's a wives, respect your husband. So that means right now, wives, while you are in divine separation, you are learning, okay, uh, how to communicate the language of respect to your person, okay? You So this is going to require for you to take some time. Maybe you got to take some time to just, you know, learn how to communicate with a man, Okay, what the, you know, begin to ask a few, you know, men around you, mature men around you, you know, what are some of the things that they deem disrespectful, right? Get a get an insight into you know the man's world so that you know how to communicate with this individual. I know not to interrupt a man when he's talking because he's going to perceive that to be disrespectful, right. I know, I was telling one of my clients this, you know, when you are with your spouse, you don't be laughing and kicking, you know, at another man's joke. <laughs> nah, you know, it's okay to, you know, just, and then you just, you go ahead and let it, let it in. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and not all men is like that, you know. Um, I also have learned, you know, just through my own experiences you know, some of this communication is visual. It's what you wear, how you look. Are you presenting yourself well? You know, that can speak, you know, right there. That can, you know, win the person favor just by you looking good, lady. You know, but not only that, you know, um, also just speaking to the king in him, you know, that's another way how you can open up his ears and allow him to hear you when you are communicating. Okay, and then for my man, you know, when you're speaking to your uh, wife, we don't. I'm on. Let me say this: we don't always want you to solve our problem when we're talking to you about problems. We don't always want you to hurry up and solve the problem. We just want. Sometimes we just want you to just sit, listen, and engage in communication. You know, we want to talk. We got to talk it out. <laughs> so. All of the time when she presents a problem to you, she's not looking for you to hurry up and just solve it. She she might just want you to just talk it out with her, you know, and that's okay. And um, yeah, that that's a big thing for women. You know, we wanna we wanna talk it out. So don't give us the one word, okay. No, what does okay mean? <laughs> you know, we need to talk. We want to talk this out, okay. Uh, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? You know. What do you think about what I said, right? He, she's looking for you to engage with her, okay? Um, and help her to understand whatever it is she's looking for understanding um, on, okay? So I hope that was helpful. It is a book over on called Communication Miracles for Couples. I highly recommend uh, you read it. They, um, it got some good advice inside of that book. But with that, I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.